Whoa, I just exploded in my pants, boys. IGN just dropped a new video on Lego Star Wars The Skywalker Saga. Uh, uh, oh my god, this is amazing. Seven things that we don't know about the Skywalker Saga. Sponsored by Warner Bros. Games. Hmm. What is it, Patrick? Are you all right? <laughs> sounding so fucking sad. <laughs> Jesus! How's it going? Welcome back, my beautiful sinners, to another great video here on the Majestic Savior Show. Make sure that you go down below and subscribe. And this time, if you can leave a like, okay, that would mean so much to me because I don't give a shit, okay? Usually, I don't ask for likes. But I'm running a little experiment here. I just want to try something out with this video. So if you could help me by just giving me a like, I would really appreciate it. And go down below in the comments also and just say whatever you want, okay? You can call me a cripple. You can call me a degenerate. I don't give a shit, okay? Just do anything, okay? Say anything in the comments. Lego Star Wars for Skywalker Saga is finally here, boys. And oh my god, okay, am I excited for this, okay, wow, <laughs> another LEGO Star Wars game, you know, this is gonna be incredible, okay, so before I jump into this LEGO Star Wars The Skywalker Saga review, this is my early impressions slash early review of LEGO Star Wars the Skywalker Saga. I'm not saying that Lego Star Wars The Skywalker Saga is bad, okay? What I am trying to say with this video is the corporate intent behind the Lego Star Wars The Skywalker Saga is bad. The corporate greed and the endless milking of the Star Wars franchise is what I'm upset about. Silence, Earthling! My name is Darth Vader. I hope you enjoy this early review of the Lego Star Wars The Skywalker Saga. I can't exactly say that this is the official Lego Star Wars The Skywalker Saga review because the game is coming out tomorrow, okay? But I just really want to give you my opinions on this before you buy the Lego Star Wars Skywalker Saga video game, okay? Jesus Christ, that's a fucking mouthful. I don't really think that you should buy this, okay? And I'm gonna tell you why. Now, first, let me just say that I really do love LEGO Star Wars when I was a child, okay? <laughs> I think that's a big point right now, okay? This game was good when I was a little kid, playing with my brother. We had so much fun with the original LEGO Star Wars video game, Complete Saga as well which basically put all of the Star Wars episodes into a complete package, and that was great. You could create your own characters, we would go around milking the little studs and collecting. It would feel so good to collect all of this currency, so then you could use all of this LEGO currency to unlock more stuff, more characters, and all that kind of stuff. It was satisfying, especially as a kid, because when you're a child, you love LEGOs, and you love Star Wars. Put them together and hey, the issue I have, okay, is Disney are scum, they are filth, they are pure trash evil, okay, and <laughs> you know, most people just cozy up to Disney because uh, they own everything, okay, they don't just own Star Wars, they don't just own Marvel, they own everything. All of entertainment belongs to Disney, which means it's all creatively bankrupt, which means it all has to appeal to a massive audience, you know, and appeal to some certain countries Ooh, that we cannot mention here. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, Mickey Mouse just broke into my house. He kneecapped me and he just shoved a wad of Disney cash down my throat so I couldn't really uh, say what I was trying to say. If you are new to this channel, you probably don't know where I stand. And let me just say, all reviews, all previews, all of this bullshit, okay? It's all just opinions, okay, from real people. When it's from a company like IGN that is hyping up the game, seven things that you don't know about LEGO Star Wars, it's another LEGO Star Wars game. There's only been six before, six video games milking the same franchise, basically doing the same gameplay over and over again, but this time it's got shiny graphics, because shiny graphics is important, especially in a fucking LEGO game. Graphics is so important within a LEGO game, isn't it? Ooh, that makes fucking total sense. We're not corporate shills, oh, we don't take sponsors by the publishers themselves, so we can't actually give our real opinion. No, when has IGN ever done that before? If I sound a little bit bitter, okay, I'm not actually, 
you know, upset about a fucking video game. I couldn't care less, really. I'm just so pissed off about how corporate everything has become. How so many companies have no integrity anymore. They don't have the integrity, okay? They are sponsored by the game developers and the corporates behind them, so they can't actually give you the real review. They can't actually tell you if it's actually good or not. Only after the game is released and after they've made shit tons of money, then real opinions are allowed to come out. But until then, Sunny Jim, no, no, no. <laughs> we just have to trust the wonderful gaming industry. And oh, it's become so wonderful. Have you not noticed in the last five years or so just how corrupt the gaming industry has become. When all media and entertainment is so easily corrupted, it is a big deal. It says a great deal, actually, about our society, and the gaming industry has become so corrupt recently, okay? Publishers are lying about their video games. It's basically false advertisements at this point, okay? They released unfinished games that are completely buggy on arrival, like Cyberpunk 2077, like Battlefield, 2042 or whatever the hell that game was called, okay? Rockstar, with its endless microtransactions and all of this endless bullshit, the gaming industry has become a joke, okay? Because it's become so mainstream and because so many people play video games now, they have a complete monopoly over the consumers. They have already made every single LEGO Star Wars video game possible to tie in with the movies they are simply just redoing it over again. But this time, everyone, I know what you're gonna say in the comments, because you're a bunch of pathetic little man babies who just want to keep going back, who feel safe when they recognize the noises of Star Wars, the pew pews and the ATST, ATST, the sound effect of the lightsaber, whoosh, zoom, woo. <laughs> All those little recognizable trademark sounds that you love so much that makes you feel safe and sound in your little blankets, okay? They have got you by the fucking balls, okay? These corporate scumbag. I just don't understand how people can still love Star Wars so much. How people aren't fucking sick of it being shoved down their fucking throats 24-7. I'm sick of Star Wars. I hate it. I hate it so much. I used to love Star Wars. I mean, that's the sad thing. I loved Star Wars so much. And when I go back and watch the original movies, I still fucking love them because they are great movies. George Lucas, say what you want about him, but he had a fucking vision. I'm sure some people are going to be angry and say, Savior, this is crazy. The gameplay looks so amazing. The gameplay looks so different. And you're right. It looks like they have actually done some good stuff here. Maybe even a little bit of innovation. I'm not going to go that far, but it looks like they've actually made the gameplay a little bit more enticing, a little bit more in-depth and interesting, okay? <laughs> oh my god, I just don't see how people can't see this. Oh my god, the world is so corporate now. We truly live in a society. This is the postmodern world. So yeah, okay, they have actually done some cool stuff. They've added new gameplay features where you can hide behind cover. You can now aim down your little Lego pistols and shoot at the stormtroopers. They now react with a little bit of realism when you shoot them in different body parts. Or when you shoot them in different body parts, okay, the cutscenes look goddamn amazing. They look like something from a Lego movie, and the lightsaber combat is more fleshed out. You can actually explore little hub worlds. So yeah, I'm not saying that the game is bad, but the message behind it, the corporation message behind it, that Disney is just releasing the same game, pretty much, over and over and over again. They just keep on milking Star Wars until who knows where it's gonna end up. And the thing that really has me pissed off is this will cost you $70. $70, okay? For the full, if you want, if you want, mm, mm, if you want the full package and you want all of the little Lego characters, okay? Then it's gonna cost you $70, okay? Let that sink in for a bunch of character packs. And if you don't buy them, you can buy them later. I enjoyed this game when I was a kid, and if you're a parent and you wanna play a video game with your child or something like that, then hey, that's fine. Or if you're just a sad 
adult who loves Disney and loves Star Wars so much and you can never get enough of it and you want to play a Lego game, then that's fine. I'm not going to judge you, okay? I'm not going to stop you. I might disagree with you, but I do believe that every human being on this planet is free to do whatever they want. I don't believe in anyone telling you that you can't do something if you enjoy it. That's complete bullshit. But, you know, you might want to rethink your life, maybe. Lego Star Wars The Skywalker Saga is bad, but not because it's a bad game, okay? They have actually added stuff to it which will make it quite fun for the children, for the little man babies who love Star Wars so much. You know, it actually looks like they've added a lot to it. What I have a problem with is the endless microtransactions, the sheer amount of greed Disney has for the Star Wars franchise, the fact that they have already made this game before and they're basically just upgrading it, the fact that they're asking $70 for this piece of shit. We live in a world where we can't let something die. Something successful like Star Wars, okay, that was, you know, a great movie trilogy, okay, to begin with. Something like that just has to be turned into the most corporate, shallow, and greedy thing that I think I've ever seen in the history of human entertainment, and that's my problem, okay? It's the corporations, it's the shills behind the industry, the shady business around the gaming industry nowadays, where it's become so corrupt, where all of these developers cannot be trusted anymore. I'm just sick of all of this shit. And the sad thing is, people are excited. That's what really gets me upset. People are excited for a LEGO Star Wars game because that's just how bad the gaming industry has become. Where a fucking child's game is something that they look forward to. You know, what the hell has happened to the gaming industry? That's what I want to fucking know. And that's just my opinion, okay? Let me know what you think down below in the comments, and I'll see you in the next video.